You can catch me in the dips since I can spell my name And I can't attest it ain't no zip out that can heal my sprain Lanes cut the shit with the fangs hidden I'ma say it how I got it on the page, my nigga, I said Lanes cut the shit with the fangs hidden I'ma say it how I got it on the page, my nigga, I said My name is Redville. Um, I'm 17. I'm from PG, Maryland. It's like outside of DC. Um, yeah, nah, but I love home, for real, for real. Well, I guess, so putting it into context a little bit, like all the music that my, like, my mom played, it was just all gospel. Um, all the music that my dad played, usually like, you know, funk, um, old, older hip hop, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I think that I was I'm kind of in a I was kind of in a better position at least you know to share it because it's like that influence and it's something I didn't realize until recently um, that I really thought about it more but like that influence of my mom always playing gospel and you know them playing funkin or or my dad playing funk or whatever um, it it shows up going back into the stuff that I like look for to sample and like kind of the um, the tones that I want to recreate I guess. Um, but yeah, nah. In terms of like, in terms of like the rap stuff in the background with my parents, I mean, like, if my dad is mad at me for saying it's my fault, but he used to rap, and he was in like this little rap group. Um, but like, I didn't get any like rapping from my parents. Like, I I kind of just I just found it on my own. But nah, I guess that's like. Uh, a thing that he did too, but no, I, 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 everything like musically, for real, that I try to do with my music, um, I kind of try to pull from everywhere and create like a new thing that isn't just a representation of one point of influence. You know? People don't realize that like young, like younger people are aware, and I think that's something that people are realizing, starting to realize more now. Um, especially with like the like the the artists in hip hop that have come up in the past like year or two, a lot of them have been younger. Like usually, this one thing I realized is like in rap, if you want to like blow up before like twenty eighteen or so, you had to be like at least sixteen. If you're not sixteen, people are not taking you serious in any type of capacity. You're just gonna be like a little nigga rapper. But like now, something that, that I think that's cool is like people that have how are younger, you know, being taken more seriously. Like these kids are aware of like the nuances of what makes music good. Like, and I think that's something that people should honestly just like understand. You know what I mean? And I I think people are starting to understand it, but that's it's gonna con progress more and more. It's gonna continue more and more, and I'm excited for that. But I think that's really the the biggest misunderstanding is like the uh, the youth is aware. You know what I mean? Okay, I just had this. I just had this revelation, like, lack two days, or whenever I performed, like, on the 29th in New York. Um, like, music, like, this is one thing that I, you know, you could say, and it's like, oh, that makes sense. But it's like, being in a position of performing, it like really, really clicked. It's like music is like energy. You know what I mean? It's like there's energy in the music, and there's energy in the words. So, when I did wait, and it was like. Like I heard everybody say, tell myself I ain't feeling no weight. That was like a, that was like a really beautiful thing to me because it's like that fact that I was able to get a whole bunch of, you know, people in the room to essentially like uplift themselves. Like, I feel like it, it just made me real happy about what I had, you know, the lyrics that I chose to put in my music, you know, like it, it, it made it like really satisfying. Yeah, you know what? You know, okay, let me let me break it down. Let me break down the the the, the thought so process. Let me it's break just, down the thought it's process. It's just crazy. Sorry, before you say it, it's just crazy because every time we have a like a show and I have to send in the writer, and it, Chicken Pot Pie is always on there and he doesn't usually take it off, and they always text me or hit me back and they're like, "Yo, like Why? we don't have Chicken Pot Pie." Yeah, but I think <laughs> if but if the whole thing behind it is okay, we're gonna go to the store and get this stuff. It's like you just go to the freezer aisle and get the freaking thing that you can put in the microwave. But it's the, they but anyways. Don't support 
<laughs> they just don't support consumption of consumption chicken, chicken pot pies. pies. They, just, they just be like chicken pot pies. Bro. But <laughs> there, it's a it's it's a it's a one dish meal. It's hearty. It I'm full every time. Yo, what's up with you? Nah, but it's it fills me up every time. I don't know what to say, bro. I can't I can't justify it. I don't think there's any justification that needs to be made. Hey, you don't gotta say it. Well, yeah. you, know, you 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 bring it home the big bucks. You good? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I have a bigger, I need a, I have a bigger network now. So it's like, yeah, I would think, you know, the, the limits were kind of just my friends when I was making Niagara. But now I'm thinking like, okay, I could get like somebody like a baby Keem or somebody that any of, anybody of some, like a similar stature that messes with me particularly, messes with me particularly like, you know, they're not out of reach. But like, I guess when you were making those songs before, were you like, oh man, like I wish I could get like some big person on this? And not really, no? not really. It's kind of it, because I. This is the thing too. It's like my the way I pick the features is very. Um, it's very. It's it has a, basically nothing to do with status and everything to do with what I think they contribute musically to the song. So knowing that, it's like I have friends. And I know people that can contribute musically that don't may not have the status of somebody like a baby king, but that's what it's about is how they contribute musically to it, like how their voice fits on it, how whatever you know fits on it. It's not really about oh this person's gonna get me clicks or whatever. <laughs> Bro, I hope. I hope people get it. Like, I hope people get everything I'm talking about right now, but like what's in my head and that people are going to get it. Like, I hope that has happened. You know, that's really all I, that's really all I have to say. I hope you didn't fumble. <laughs> you know? That's pretty awesome. But I doubt, I doubt I did. I know I'm probably looking at this now when I'm, or when I'm 27, like, yeah, I got you.